Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. Today I'm going to be comparing Lunchables, Lunchly, and Lunchmakers. I didn't want to do this video, I wasn't going to do this video, but I kind of had my hands forced. About a year ago now we did an I eat Lunchables every day for one week video. A few weeks ago I started noticing a lot of comments on this video, specifically comments about Lunchly. I think I might have gotten like 50 different I like my cheese drippy bruh or whatever <laughs> comments. I'm not even being sarcastic. At first, I didn't even know what they were talking about because I don't pay that much attention to whatever is going on on the internet anymore. Who are you, people? And I figured I'd just ignore it, but I kept getting more and more views on that Lunchables video, and it was kind of like, I guess I have to do a Lunchly thing now. I mean, that wasn't even a video about Lunchly, but all the new comments were about Lunchly, so I guess my hand has been forced. But I don't want to just talk about the Lunchly thing or all the Lunchly drama. I want to actually do at least as much of an unbiased comparison as I can. And, I mean, frankly, I don't even really get why people care so much about the Lunchly stuff. I mean, when I was looking for some information about Lunchly, I saw a tweet where someone said something like, Lunchly has been defeated. It had like a little dancing celebration gif, and it had like 150,000 likes. Why are people so invested in this? I personally am not invested in it because I have better things to do. <laughs> Okay, that's a joke. I have my own little stupid pointless things that I care about. It just so happens to not be YouTube drama. I feel like I've seen enough YouTube drama firsthand to last a lifetime, so I'm not particularly interested in it anymore. But to be fair, I did see some pretty wild stuff. Some things about mold. Mold? But yeah, we'll get into that later. I'm just gonna do this as unbiased as possible. I mean, realistically speaking, Lunchables and Lunchly, neither of them have a great reputation. It's basically mold versus lead and also Lunchmakers is here, because why not? Let's start with the nachos. I mean, all those comments, they were all about the nachos. I, I guess people really want to see them. We've got Lunchables nachos, we've got Lunchmakers nachos, and we've got Lunchly nachos, only slightly beat up. I feel like I'm a little bit late for this whole Lunchly thing, but I promise that was only because I could not find these freaking things anywhere. I seriously went to maybe 50, 60 different grocery stores, or I at least called that many to ask if they had it. I didn't really enjoy calling and bothering the employees at the grocery store to ask if they had any Lunchlies, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The one that I did find the most of, though, was by far the nachos one. So I don't know, is this the least popular? Or maybe it's the one with the least amount of mold in it. I don't know. But I'll probably do Lunchly. Last, let's start with just the basic Lunchables. I'm very familiar with Lunchables. I had Lunchables a lot as a child. So I have a lot of nostalgia for it. I recently got a comment of someone uh, insulting my mother because she would let me have Lunchables as a kid. That is one of the only people that I can think of on this channel that I basically banned or like hid their comments. Uh, I usually don't do that, but yeah. Get my mom's name out of your mouth, okay? You can come and insult me, but shut the f*** up about my mom. Besides, it was me that was begging her to buy me Lunchables for lunch anyway, so she did on occasion do it, and it made me happy, so thank you, Mom. And screw whoever that guy was in the comments. So yeah, I'm already very familiar with this, but just for the sake of the comparison, I kind of have to try them again. It's been over a year since I had these. I mean, I don't regularly eat them anymore as an adult. Here's what they look like. So we got a Kit Kat in this one. Kind of an underrated candy bar, TBH. There's that fake cheese I loved. The pizza one was probably my favorite, but uh, low key, I really like these nacho ones way more than the cracker sandwiches. I almost never got those. Let's see, we got a Capri Sun Fruit Punch. Okay, hell yeah. Let's give it a sip. It's fruit, it's healthy, all right? Look, there's an apple right on there. That's how you know it's healthy. Yeah, tastes like uh, being a 10 years old again. Well, look, it's a, it says all natural ingredients. I'm assuming sugar is one of those all natural ingredients. Probably shouldn't do dessert first, but I mean, I'm getting the basic things out of the way first before we move on to the nachos. I mean, do I really need to eat a Kit Kat? It's part of the experience, you know? If that's what it is. Yeah, I maintain what I said before. Kit Kat's fairly underrated candy. They always taste different inside the Lunchables, though. I think it's just because they're cold. Okay, now, Here's what we really came here for, the nachos. I'm gonna go my classic two chips, dip it in the cheese, then get a little of the salsa. Barely any lead taste in that at all. It's just about the most fake cheese you could possibly get, but there is something about it that I do still kind of like. Realistically, it's probably nostalgia. The chips on this one taste a little stale to me though. What's the expiration date on this? November 29th, 2024. So it's not out of date by any means. I'm super hungry. I'm tempted to eat all of this, but I have what? Eight more meals left or is it seven? I guess it's toasty cut this out. Now it actually is seven. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, tastes just about how I remember it. All right, let's move on to the lunch makers. Some of you may not 
not be familiar with this brand, but it is an off-brand Lunchable. I mean, so is Lunchly, but <laughs> you know. This was the original off-brand Lunchable. And as far as I know, it doesn't have a history of mold in it. I have never had the nacho version of this. In fact, it was a little bit hard to find. I should say the price on this lunch makers is only a dollar fifty. That's actually pretty crazy. It doesn't come with a drink, and I don't think it has as many chips in it, but it is super cheap. Let's see what it looks like inside of here. The chips are a lot bigger. There's not as many of them, but much bigger in size as you can see. The salsa seems a little bit runnier, but like in a more natural looking way, as opposed to the Lunchables, which is like almost solid. It's not even really moving. I'm like, I'm moving it. It's like not dripping at all. I like my salsa. Drippy, bro. This salsa is much more liquidy, but the thing that's probably the most noticeable is, damn, look at the color difference on this cheese. Is my camera doing justice here? I think it is. This one's a lot darker on the lunch makers. First, I'll try the salsa since I already dipped it in there. The taste is a lot different. Yeah, it certainly doesn't taste like restaurant salsa or anything, but tastes a lot realer. Realer? Bueller. Tastes a lot realer than the Lunchable salsa and a lot less sweet too. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like the nostalgic taste of the Lunchable salsa, but if you want a more authentic salsa, then I guess you could go with this. The cheese though, I'm suspicious that this will taste like real queso or even real cheese. That's a weird taste. What is that? Almost a citrusy t aftertaste? What the hell? Very strange. At first it just tastes like Velveeta, but then it tastes like lemon at the end. I'm confused by that. I'll try both. Super, super strange. It somehow tastes more real, but also not at the same time. I, I, I don't know how to explain that. Let me taste the Lunchables cheese again. Very strange. I'm almost not sure what to think. Oh yeah, and also there's a crunch bar, which of course I have to take a bite of. This is this is for the video. This is for science. Not bad. Probably a wash on the candy. I mean, they're both good. How are you going to rank them? Crunch bar, Kit Kat. Take your pick. All right, here we go. This is my first experience. After all of these hours, literal hours, searching for Lunchlies, I'm finally going to actually try one. I don't know if I'm excited or scared. At least I'm pretty sure there's no mold in this one. At least there's not supposed to be. I almost forgot that this has Prime in it. Is that, what is that like? Is that KSI? I, I, uh, actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not really sure. I think it's KSI has Prime, right? I've never tried that. Mr. Beast is obviously Feastables. Where does Logan Paul come in, into this? I like my cheese drippy, bro. This is a genuine question. I'm actually not sure. Does Logan Paul make nachos? I, I don't know. Wh why is he involved? In it? I'm actually, I'm actually not sure. Whatever. Let's open this up. It feels pretty substantial, but I think most of it is, yeah, the Prime. Strawberry banana. I bet it'll be good. I'm sitting over here acting like I'm unbiased while I actually have a KSI cup and I was prominently featured in a Mr. Beast video. Jake Paul, and he can hit hard. He like beat you, Bruce. Just blew up for 0.2 seconds. So honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you doubted my objectivity. I was sent that KSI cup. I didn't pay for it. It just came with my like G Fuel order, if I recall. It's kind of sad though that that appearance in the Mr. Beast video is probably the most viewed thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to VTubers! Okay, so is there caffeine in this? I kind of hope not, because it is late. There's vegetable juice, apparently, for color. Okay, so no caffeine, luckily. Let's try this. Cheers, KSI and or Logan Paul. I'm pretty sure KSI. This is fake sugar, right? Yeah, I can tell instantly. Sucralose. It's not bad. I'm sure it's probably not good for you, even if it has no sugar. I mean, people try to get me on this in the comments all the time. I'll say something doesn't have sugar in it, and they'll be like, that doesn't make it healthy. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying it doesn't have sugar. The flavor's not bad. I can tell, though, that it's fake, uh, fake sweetener. Well, not fake sweetener, fake sugar. A real sweetener, I guess. You're supposed to shake well before opening. My bad, KSI. Sorry. It tastes exactly the same. Why am I not drinking this out of my KSI cup, though? That's the real question. There we go, KSI. Like I said, I'm a huge fan. I have no idea what kind of videos he does, but I'm a fan. I'll save this for the next Prime. I already drank this one. It was not bad. What we really want to see are Logan Paul's nachos. I still am confused by why he's involved in this. Probably because everyone loves him so much. They just had to attach him to the project, obviously. For PR. All right, here here it is. Leave no crumbs. Don't tell me what to do, Mr. Beast. Okay, I can say that this definitely, out of the three, looks the most like real queso and real salsa. Not even close. Feastables, I've also never had this. Might as well try it real quick. I think it's just like regular milk chocolate. Not bad. I mean, it's milk chocolate. Tastes different than a Hershey's or either, either of the other two chocolates. I like it. It's pretty good. Okay, here are the chips. They look a lot more similar to the Lunchables chips. Again, I'll get the uh, three of them compared here by color. And like I said, this one, uh, the Lunchables actually looks a lot more real. Let's try the queso. It's drippy. <gasps> it's drippy, drippy bruh. Bro. Look at that, look at that drip. 
Cheers. There's probably very little mold in this. Okay, yeah, straight up. I know a lot of people are probably gonna want me to hate on this, but that tastes a lot more like real okay, queso. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like the taste of the Lunchables more, probably. Again, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. This is a much more mild taste, but it is more like an actual queso. Let's try the salsa. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Yeah. That, that's pretty good. Again, by far the most real tasting salsa out of the three. Not close. Now, I don't know if it's healthy. I still have no idea realistically what's in it, but it tastes pretty good. I'll do the double dip. Honestly, that is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think the salsa tastes like on the border salsa, if you're familiar with that. That's the kind of flavor that's popping into my head when I'm eating it. You know, I wasn't really expecting this, but the winner of the nachos, it's lunch like. Kind of not close. The only thing that's keeping Lunchables close is just the nostalgia for the flavor. I mean, it's super fake tasting. But it's fake tasting in a way that 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 it, 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 it kind of hooks you. They have scientifically engineered this fake sh to taste good, at least to children or people with the brain of a child like myself. But yeah, especially back to back, it's kind of night and day. This Velveeta e cheese taste is so fake, and the salsa is just really sweet. Doesn't really taste like salsa at all. Whereas this salsa tastes like real salsa, and this cheese tastes like real cheese. And it's drippy, bro. Look at that. I can't vouch for the safety of the product, but it tastes good. All right, so that's interesting. I was not expecting that. Let's move on to the cracker sandwiches. I'm now wondering if the 150,000 people that like that one tweet about Lunchly being taken down are now going to brigade me. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. Please don't burn me at the stake. I have a family. Burn them! All right, turkey sandwiches. So you may notice one thing uh, off the bat. There's no Lunchly. Yeah. Sorry. Again, I couldn't tell you just how long I looked for these lunches. I didn't count the time, but I wish that I did. I could have made three other videos in the time it took me to make this one just trying to find them. I'm starting to think that this lunchly sh doesn't actually exist. The nacho one I did eventually find. Oh my god, they have one. And then I found the pizza one after a few days. Actually, not even a few days. It was like a couple weeks of looking I found the pizza one. All right, so they didn't have the turkey cracker sandwich one, but the moldy cheese pizza acquired. So that's something at least. I guess they restocked it at some point. I think that was the mold restock and then they kind of got rid of it and then brought it back and hopefully I have one of the non-mold ones, we'll see. But I did a little research after looking, apparently they have discontinued the turkey cracker ones. I'm assuming that's a temporary thing and I can only assume that it was another safety issue, which is again, probably a knock against Lunchly. Like I said, I'm only ranking the flavor and the taste. I have no idea what's safe and what isn't. I mean, hell, Lunchables has lead in it or at least it did at some point maybe still does. Uh, uh, frankly, this is a dangerous job that I'm doing. One of the most dangerous jobs in the country. I'm doing it for you. I'll take all the mold and all the lead. But yeah, we do have Lunchables and Lunchmaker though. So I will try these first. We got Lunchable. As I said before, this is the one that I didn't really like that much, but it's frankly a staple. I feel like most people like the cracker one. I know my wife has a soft spot for this uh, cracker cheese Lunchable. And hey, it comes with a Reese's and that's pretty much S tier candy right there. I can't say Reese's is underrated because it is appropriately rated very highly. Another Capri Sun. This is Pacific Cooler. Let me see. Is it better than the Fruit Punch? I feel like this is the one that I ended up liking in the one week Lunchables video when I wasn't expecting to. Yeah. Tastes like a uh, Capri Sun. Now I just wish I had some vodka to chase with this. These are always so like difficult to open. I'm assuming that's because they don't want mold in it. So they're really gluing it as hard as possible. Reese's, I guess I'll eat the Reese's. I mean, I know what Reese's taste like, but I'm hungry. Yummy. They always make it seem like you can make a sandwich out of these, but they give you just as many crackers as cheese and turkeys. So really you're supposed to just do it like this. There it is. This is the Turkey and American, which correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that is the one that is in the Lunchly meal assuming that meal actually exists. I haven't seen any proof of it. All right, yeah, I mean, it's super fake, a sh ton of preservatives. I feel like I mentioned this on the one week video, but these crackers, are they almost like the consistency of a cookie. They don't taste sweet, but they have a strange like consistency and look to them compared to like a regular Ritz cracker or something. And there's probably some lead in it. But it tastes good. Next, the Lunch Makers Turkey and American Butterfinger. I can't think of Butterfinger without thinking of Bart Simpson. So they really nailed those commercials back in the day. That is so small though. <laughs> I was just going to take a little bite, but this is only one little bite. Man, Butterfinger, kind of similar to Milk Duds, super tasty candy, but gets so stuck in your teeth. I can't tell as many differences visually for these as a opposed to the nachos one. The crackers look a little bit different, obviously more holes in this one. If you like holes, you gotta go with lunch makers. But as far as the turkey, I mean, I literally cannot tell the difference between this. This could be exactly the same source of turkey. The cheese is a little darker here, I guess. Let's check the taste though. It's 
Sorry, it's bother. It's not symmetrical. There we go. It was bothering me. First thing that stands out is the cracker is a lot saltier. More of a cracker texture as opposed to the kind of cookie texture of the Lunchables. I think the taste is better. It's almost a wash. Lunchables does have that nostalgia factor to it for me, but the Lunchmakers has a better tasting cheese, a more strong tasting cheese. And I think the Lunchmakers is a little bit better because of that. Also, I like the saltiness of the crackers. I think the Lunchmaker comes with one less of each item and it doesn't have a drink. But again, it's only 150. So realistically, this is a much better deal and the flavor is about the same. So I guess I'm gonna have to give the win to Lunchlet. I mean lunch, I mean lunch makers. <laughs> Getting the names mixed up. Seriously, I'm very bummed, especially after looking for all that time for the cracker lunchlies, and I couldn't get it. Uh, but you know, I ended up just deciding to go with it because apparently it's discontinued anyway. Who knows when it's coming back? And again, I can only assume it was discontinued for a health-related reason. I don't know what else to assume. I mean, they just launched these not very long ago, so if they're pulling it already, it's probably not because of something good. I'm thinking maybe the turkey had some problems, some salmonella, whatever disease you get from bad meat. If your kid ate one of these turkey lunchly meals, check on him. So without further ado, I bring to you what you've all been waiting for. Moldy cheese pizza. <laughs> Well, maybe. We'll check. Pizza time. It's pizza time. Pizza time. Want to pizza? I need pizza. Pizza time. Lunchables pizza. Lunchmakers pizza. Lunchly pizza. With a very heavy prime drink in it. I'm only just now realizing, and I apologize for this, I got the cheese and not the pepperoni. That was unintentional. Oh, well. I'm not going back to another store. I've been to enough of them. Let's start with the Lunchables. This is, again, kind of the base level flavor. I know basically what it tastes like, so we're going to be comparing the other two to that. We got another Pacific cooler. I'm just going to save that. I don't need to open it. Here's what we're rocking with. We got an airhead in here. It's white flavor. Mold check. Looks like we're good. Unfortunately, we can't check for lead though. So that is kind of one of the benefits of Lunchly. If it is poisoned in some way with something that's unhealthy for your child, you'll probably be able to see it. And that's a plus, right? White flavor airhead. What really is an airhead? It's like kind of a taffy, but kind of not. I used to like airheads as a kid. I still would eat one of those watermelon flavored ones. I remember really liking those. I think now though, I'd have to go with Laffy Taffy. This stuff is like, what is this? What is it? I don't even know what it is. God damn it. It's hard. I assume that's because it's cold, but yeah, you know I mean, it's all right. By far the worst candy so far though. Maybe I'm biased. I like chocolate more than fruity flavored candies usually, but the pizza is what we really want. Again, I'm feeling pretty stupid that I didn't buy the uh, pepperoni pizza, but what are you gonna do? I feel like these used to come with a little stick so you could spread your sauce, but I guess not anymore. It's rough out there, shrinkflation. We don't even get a little plastic stick anymore. Back in the good old days, we got a stick. That's all I'm saying. Does Lunchly have a stick? I'm gonna count that. That goes towards your score. Pizza. I wouldn't say it tastes good, but it tastes how I remember it. And that's good. For what it's worth, I always preferred the cheese pizza Lunchables over the pepperoni because the pepperoni suck. Don't worry, I remember exactly what they taste like. All right, next we have the Lunchmaker's Pizza. Now, I've already tried this in a previous video. I think it was like a ripoff foods video or something. I don't remember being impressed with it, but uh, maybe I'll have a change of heart today. It doesn't have mold in it, as far as I can tell. It does have weird looking pepperonis, and this is what I remember being the weirdest thing about this. The pepperonis just look off color and strange. Another crunch bar. We know what that tastes like. Get it out of here. Only two pizzas uh, versus the three. Again, these are way cheaper though. I mean, you could buy two Lunchmakers for the price of one Lunchable. I'm pretty sure. No stick. That's a point off the score. God, these pepperonis are gross as hell. And that one's so much worse. It's crazy. That's by far the worst one out of all of them. I don't know what it is. Something about this bread tastes so cardboardy compared to the lunch Lunchables one. Yeah, the Lunchmakers is thicker and more dense and less flavorful. That's the main problem. The sauce for Lunchmakers, Lunchables, it's kind of gross. The sauce is mostly the same, kind of a wash. Cheese is a wash. But I remember specifically the pepperonis on the Lunchables pepperoni is way better than this disgusting Lunchmaker pepperoni. The main issue really is the bread though. It just like overwhelms cardboardy taste on the lunch makers. Nowhere near as good. Let's try lunch. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Is it gonna have mold in it? We're good on the expiration date by a, a solid amount. 
I have not had this out of my uh, out of my fridge at all. I will say I was a little suspicious when I first saw the mold claim. Because it's not like the person that I saw who was talking about it initially was an unbiased source. It was someone who clearly already had like a, a well-known beef with Mr. Beast. You could just leave it out of your fridge for a long time, let it mold, and then film a viral video where you had moldy lunch late. But it turns out I'm pretty sure that actually was true. A lot of other people also had mold in theirs. I'm almost positive that it was a real story. We'll see. First, our prime, a cherry freeze. Thank you, KSI. I am your biggest fan. KSI cup. I'll shake it all this time. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Not as good as the banana one, but it's all right. I taste the cherry, but where's the freeze? Six out of 10. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I feel nervous. Okay. Here's the cheese. We're mold free, baby. Hell yeah! Hey, so I'm pretty sure. I need, I, I'm actually a little suspicious here. I need, I need a full check. A full 360 de degree check here. Yeah, no mold. I think we're good. Now, whether it has lead or not, that's yet to be determined. Another feature, beach, featureables. <laughs> Feastables. This one's like a, a crunch bar, basically. I still have some of this crunch bar. I can do a one-to-one -one comparison. They definitely have a different taste to it. I think I prefer the crunch bar, but not by a lot. Again, similar to the nachos, the pepperoni definitely looks better. This is way better looking than uh, by far the Lunchmaker pepperoni and the Lunchable pepperonis as well. Feels more solid like a real pepperoni, less floppy like the Lunchables ones are. We got our sauce here. Don't really see an easy way to open this. Oh, here it is. No stirring stick though. Dock them all. Dock everybody. You're all docked. Cheese. The very unmoldy cheese. I'm like double checking. Yeah, no no mold. I'm, I'm only mildly paranoid about it. I usually only put one pepperoni. I, I You can't really fit more than one. I don't know why they always give you. This is a generous amount of pepperonis though. I love you everybody. But especially you, KSI. I'm your biggest fan. I mean, once again, this is better than the other two. It's a little closer than the nachos one. That one was a pretty stark difference. If you gave this to me and said it was a Lunchables, I probably wouldn't even realize that it wasn't. The pepperoni might give it away, but probably not. I'm not that observant. But a direct one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one comparison, it is better than the other two. Again, the most obvious comparison is the pepperoni. This is the Lunchmakers, and we're showing you a Lunchables one as well, I'm assuming, from a previous video. But also, low-key, the sauce is better. You can even see this is the Lunchly. The sauce is a lot more red. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily mean that it tastes better, but uh, it does. It tastes a lot more real, like real pizza sauce. And I worked at a pizza place for two years, so you can trust me. I'm an expert. The cheese also feels a little bit more fresh on this. Uh, you can't really tell from the camera, but it has a slightly better taste and a better texture to it. It feels like there's less preservatives in it, which I think is part of the whole point of the Lunchly's. As a concept, I like the idea of Lunchly. It's supposed to be just like a healthier version of these other meals. I mean, again, it's not healthy, but I wouldn't be surprised based on the taste and the texture of all these ingredients that it is at least a little bit better for you than these other meals. Again, where they're going wrong is obviously, you know, the mold, the recalling of the turkey sandwiches. We don't even know what's up with that as far as I know. If I'm being generous, I'd say the problems that they're running into is because they're using less preservatives and stuff. So it's harder to keep their meals fresher and mold free. I think with the pizza mold, it was a little bit of like a glue issue on the packaging or something like that. So if they can get all that squared away, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The internet probably wants me to hate on it, but the lunchly meals, at least the two that I was able to get are better than these other ones. Again, with the nacho one, it's not even close. So yeah, that's not really what I was expecting, especially with all the shit I've been seeing Lunchly get on the internet. I mean, again, rightfully so in some cases, you know, mold, but I cannot tell a lie. I liked it and uh, I'd probably eat it again, at least over these other ones, assuming, you know, they continue to pass safety regulations or whatever. I don't think it's too late to regain their reputation. I mean, let's be real. I think mostly the reputation is just based off of the YouTubers themselves. I mean, and the mold again. <laughs> That's not helping the case. But it's like Lunchables had lead in it and people didn't really seem to care that much. It seems like people are cheering for Lunchables, which is owned by some giant corporation over, you know, this smaller brand Lunchly. I mean, again, it's three big YouTubers and, you know, some of them have spotty pasts. I don't really know that much about KSI, but Mr. Beast has been in some drama recently and, uh, you know, Logan Paul, I remember the whole stuff back in the day with the, with the forest. But my whole point with this video was to just judge the flavor and the taste and the quality of the product. I liked the Lunchlies. I'd be curious to try the crack turkey sandwich one at some point, assuming it's ever fit for human consumption in the future. I'll keep an eye out for it. So yeah, if you want to see more videos from me on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked it, and check out the Lunchables one week video if you want to see more or whatever else we got over here. See you later. Bye-bye. The cheese is drippy, bro. Bro.